Hey guys, Mr. Wado here back with another video. If you haven't checked out my old unboxing of the Anchor Power Bank, the different one, 15 watt one, go check it out. I've actually returned that one because uh, it's no good to me, like I said in the video. And I've bought this one instead. This is a 22.5 watts power bank. So the problem with the last power bank was it was a uh, 15 watts, which is theoretically fast charging, but it only is fast charging for Apple devices because it, it could only do 5 five volts it couldn't do any higher voltage this one is 22 watts and it can do higher voltage so Samsung and uh, I use a Samsung phone most of all my phones are Samsung pretty much my business phone, my other phone, my other phone they're all Samsungs so fast charging on Samsung phones they don't use volts I mean watts no watts amps i mean so with apple they use five volts at three amps five volts at two amps five volts at basically five volts with a high amp amp that's how apple's fast charging works with samsung their fast charging is so normal charging is five volts at two amps their fast charging is nine volts at 1.8 amps or whatever which is pretty cool isn't it guys and then you got the next level up which is 12 volts at one point something amps as well so yeah that's how their so their charging works quick charge 2.0 quick charge 3.0 power delivery 2.0 3.0 whatever so yeah the last power bank didn't have that at all even though it did say on the advert the amazon listing that it does fast charge but yeah so with this one um pretty sure he has it i'm going to test it out anyway on camera for you guys so this is a 22.5 watts one it's also got another benefit to it it has a usb-c cable built into the power bank so you don't actually need to carry a cable with you i will always still carry a cable just as a backup but if you have if you don't care like me i mean not like me if you have no worries in the world then you don't need to carry a cable it's already built in but for me i like to have backups of everything a backup option you know like in my car i'll carry everything with me to repair my car on the roadside if i need to do you know what i mean whereas same with the power bank if i if i take out if i take this power bank even though there's a cable built in i'm going to take a spare cable with me anyway stuff like that even in my car there's about three usb c cables in there guys backup fail safes because i always need charging my phone and uh, if you're using android auto and all that with the cable you're gonna need the uh, maps and stuff so <coughs> you need a good cable for that so yeah no more waffling on so what i was saying so this costs i paid 30 quid for this because it was on sale and literally one day after it's back to its normal price of 50 pounds so it is quite expensive expensive but it's 20,000 milliamp hour. Uh, so if you would go off the sale prices, though, those was 26 or something, 26 or 28. So for four quid more, you gain fast charging. You're getting a USB-C cable built in as well, and uh, you get a display as well. Whereas the other one just had them colours. This one has an actual display to tell you the exact percentage that's left on the power bank. But both of them were 20,000 milliamp hour. This one's 20,000 as well, like I said. And yeah, they're both black. This one's black as well. So you got the anchor, black, blue and white. I actually don't like this packaging that much. It just looks too plain here. They should have put a picture of the power bank here or something. Like this front end is too simplistic. Whereas when you pull it to the side, this looks nice. So anchor lift charged. Okay. Anchor lift charged. All right. You can also get this in pink, purple and white, I've got the black edition. So there you go, it's got fast charging via leading technology. The other one said that too though, that's the thing. But this one I'm pretty sure 100% has it, so hopefully it does. Okay. So it's got 20,000 milliamp power, like I said, 22.5 watts of power. And a built-in USB-C cable. And yeah, let's go ahead and open this. Right. How good do you think my nails are? Can we pull this off guys? Look. Can we do this? There's another one at the bottom as well. Yeah. Right, wish me luck guys. There you go. 
Oh well, guys, I cut it with my nails. See that? Powerful nails. I do need to cut my nails. See, I'm so busy, I can't, don't even have time to cut my nails. I do have good news though as well, guys. We might be getting another sponsored bike from DYU. So, if we do, I'll be very, very happy. So, you will see that as well. And maybe that one I'll keep. For the... Like in the house and stuff. Because that one is tiny. It's like a foldable bike to give in. So, hopefully... Fingers crossed to send me that. I'll be very happy with that. And that one, I can literally put into my boot then. Go traveling the country with it. That'll be fucking sick. Alright, guys. Wow. Like, when I go to these parks, like these national parks in the country, there's people on electric bikes. I'm like, wow, if only I could have been, If only there was a way to rent a bike there or bring my own bike. My bike is they were too big, weren't they? So, I can't do anything about that. And these journeys are miles away, so it'll take me probably two, three days to cycle there, even with the electric power. So, having a foldable one would be amazing. It would be a great advantage. <coughs> Alright, got your quick start guide, you don't really need it, there's not. What is that you say, really? Let's tell you how to press it and stuff. This is your warranty and stuff, your support guide. Yep. And you have this weird sticker it's for recycling also when you do return um say you want to return one of these power banks to amazon you can't post it through the post office anymore they have to come and collect it just because it's hazardous so they have like a special containment unit a van it's not the regular van that they use they use a containment style like a it's to prevent like fires do you know like um when they had a uh, the note seven was it and they were setting on fire and stuff after that they made all the rules more stricter so they use these protective vans through royal mail or whoever and they collect it through that and keep in that all right let's go ahead and open this nothing else in there all right guys let's go Oof, that looks that is very chunky Chunky chicken, not sponsored chunky chicken, but if you've ever had chunky chicken before, you know that's a good food place. And yeah, right, one thing I hate the most these wrappers, let's take them off. Some people keep these uh, screen protectors on, you know, when you get the new device and stuff. I don't like it because you, you look how beautiful it is without it, you know. You can't enjoy the beauty of a device without taking all these wrappers off, unpeeling everything. Where's the starting point for this? Let's see. There. Alright. Wow. Look how nice that is, guys. Alright. There you go. That's a very long cable. Tidying. Alright. <coughs> Alright, so you got the... Can you see? Gloss black. Look how nice it is. Look how beautiful that is. What is that? Oh yeah, we're twenty-six percent charge. One second, let me rip. let me one second, one second, guys. Hey bastard! I am I am making video. Do you have anything to say, brother? Shout out. Watch the Humble Rise podcast out yes. now, episode one. Did you hear that guys? Go watch it. I will put a link if I can remember. If it is there, check the description, brothers. Okay. Life lessons. Life lessons. See that? Life lessons with the humble rise. Be ready, guys. Okay, brothers. Back to the review. Unboxing, I mean. All right. So. It's very hard to read. Okay, I'll just... Ooh, what's that? All right, so you got button on the side. I think that's to, just to power the display. To be fair, yeah, it is. That's just to check your battery level, which is pretty cool. This one comes with twenty six percent. Is there another stick on there? I can't tell. I think there might be. You know, there is, isn't it? Yeah, I think it looked a bit bubbly. What the hell is this bottom port? 
it is a fully comma right there you go right oh yeah this does come out so what this is that's actually a phone stand like that that's all that does which is nice thought but you know but yeah this is quite chunky he is quite heavy you will definitely feel it but i'm going to be carrying it in a man bag probably this is just for when i'm out and about in summer on holiday or whatever it's not uh it's going to do the job and stuff hopefully it's fast charging we'll find out okay so let's see what voltage outputs so the main thing where there you go usb a output 9 volts at 2 amps there you go that's how you know you got fast charging 10 volts at 2.2 amps 12 volts at 1.5 amps that's how you know it definitely has fast charging guys it has the right outputs that we need for the samsung ones but it also has backwards compatibility with the apple one so you'll have the fast charging for apple as well and like you said there's a usb-c charger plugged in here that's built in don't know how you get it out though so it's always going to be a bit tight like that there you go you just have to the hooks there you can't take it out fully but this is how you'll work it so you're taking the cable out like this so this is the full length wait a minute almost there don't know how long this cable will last or like that being stretched and stuff but yeah hopefully last a while so we're going to test it out first of all see if this fast charging does work got my beautiful samsung all right so usb-c you can plug in either way it doesn't matter so if it fast charges it'll say charging fast charging fast charging yay there you go this device i'm definitely keeping perfect somehow we got oh no oh wait i don't know guys have we got 92% charge or have we got 26% charge? Hmm. Which way do we read the device? I guess we'll find out when it turns to a 5. Because then it'll be this way or that way. We'll find out. I think it's 26% though. But yeah, I'm happy. It's got 20. It's got um, uh, fast charging. It's got USB-C cable built in. I'm really happy with this one. I highly recommend this product. 20,000 milliamp power as well, so I can charge this phone four times probably. I can charge the one I'm on right now probably three and a half times. It's a very big power bank. Very big in size and very big capacity. Wow. Oops. So yeah, that's how it's going to sit. The only thing is this cable. It might annoy you a little bit. And you can get snagged and stuff. That's the only thing I'm worried about. So yeah, yeah, I'll show you what else you can do. So you got you got the display there oh it's not one of them oh it's not like the other one the other one you could press it and it would go into low power mode maybe you can't take it into low power mode yeah you can there you go so you have the green light that's for trickle charging so that's if you're charging like um, <coughs> watches or if you just want to do a slow ass charge just because I don't know maybe you want to I don't know you up to you whatever you want to do you know what i mean guys okay so to take out that mode you just press it again apparently or double click here or there you go double click to take out double click to put in there you go so that's trickle charge when the green lights on normal charge fast charging blah 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 fantastic <laughs> then you got your kickstand down here like i said to put your phone in watch a movie or whatever so it is quite handy there you got your usb-c input and output so you recharge it with the input and there and then you got your normal usb port there so yeah highly recommend this product can't give it the quality is perfect and you get a 18 month warranty a hassle free warranty so that means no headaches you can literally just ring them up say hey but oh my power bank die they'll give you a new one take your one back and give you a new one easy as that that's what hassle free is so yeah 
highly recommend this product if you watch my last video of the Odanka one don't even bother buying that one buy this one much better fast charging if you don't even have the fast charging available on your phone it's just you have the future proof i guess and you have the cable as a bonus and you got the kickstand as a bonus for four pound extra why would you not want to do it and you get the screen as well yeah it's just better in all all senses they should just get rid of the other product it's just useless i'm guessing they have a bigger profit margin on that one because it's priced almost the same as this but this one has a lot more features and faster and bigger and more powerful everything is better so that's probably why they keep the other one on for the people to buy but yeah i don't recommend the other one buy this one i'll put a link in the description go check it out check our uh, humble rises podcast I'll, I'll put a link in the description as long as i remember to i probably will remember but i do have bad memory so hopefully i do so go check his channel out see you guys next time goodbye